What's going on? It's Casey from casey-sounds.com. So today's video, I want to talk to you about mixing in mono. This is this has been a game changer for me. Like I wish I'd have known about this years ago. But I suppose it's just one of those things that you just learn as you grow. So yeah, it is what it is. So the last couple of months, I've been mixing in mono. I've seen it in a few. I've seen a few people talking about it even before I started doing it. And I was just like, what's this about mixing in mono? Like. We don't listen in mono. I've been influenced by Dave Pensado. I'm sure he's been he's been saying for a while like nobody listens in mono, blah blah. But I've been I've just been seeing it a lot more, more and more online and with other mix engineers mixing in mono. So what I've been doing lately is setting up my mixes from from the beginning in mono, using the TT Dynamic Range Meter, having that in mono, and yeah, just starting my mix from there, balancing, EQing, and then just. After you've done that and then you put it in stereo, it's just like, wow, your mix just opens up. And I know for some people they're thinking, oh, no one listens in mono, but if you think soundbars, um, the little Bluetooth soundbars and Bose soundbars, this, that's kind of like mono, isn't it? Like people listening on their phones, that's mono. So you want your music to sound good coming through that, then you've got to kind of cater for that as well, ain't you? Really. So that's why I say mixing mono. So when you mix in mono, when you start your mixing mono, everything's gonna be coming down the middle. So if you've got a bunch of sounds in mono, you're gonna have to figure it out. You're gonna have to make everything sound good or half decent before you before you drop it into stereo. So that's one of the big things that mixing in mono is gonna um, show up or reveal in your mixes, that space. Cause you think stereo, yeah, you've got all your nice, space you've got all that stereo field where you can put certain things you can span span <laughs> you can pan it out you can use your stereo imaging and stuff yeah it's important i think mixing mon mono is important well that's just my opinion um derek is it derek ali one of the super super mix engineers high paid well known mixes in mono some mix engineers they don't just they don't only have like a uh, a plugin or collapse everything to mono like some people just mix through one speaker like one monitor like my monitor this one here it's dying on me so sometimes i turn it on it won't come on but i'm gonna get it sorted soon there's been times when i just use one monitor and start doing my mix before this one decides to turn on and that's been good for me like i'm not complaining it's helped it's actually helped <laughs> Do you know what i'm saying you've got to turn a negative into a positive so that's what i've done um and then obviously when that turns on the mix sounds it sounds good it's like half the battles won so yeah i like i like mixing in mono that's what this video is about today mixing in mono so yeah i hope you took something from this video if you have hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you know anytime i put up a new video and don't forget to hit me up on instagram if you've got any questions hit me up on instagram or drop a comment below and i'll get back to you i appreciate your time thank you for watching peace